lot of things in the weather center. Right? Yeah, a lot of things ahead. Very windy weather as winds already starting to gust more than 40 miles per hour in Ruidoso, Alamosa, and those winds are only going to pick up throughout the day. Quarter to five in the morning right now on this Tuesday morning. Winds gusting officially at 43 miles per hour at the Sierra Blanca Airport in Ruidoso, a 37 mile per hour gust in Las Vegas. No wind gusts right now in Albuquerque, but those winds are set to really pick up later today. Galpin Grants, Farmington, you guys are also under wind alert. So widespread winds starting to pick up already this morning. That southwesterly flow providing a very mild start out there. A wind sustained at 28 miles per hour. The San Luis Regional Airport in Alamosa and a 32 mile per hour sustained wind in Rudoso. So those winds really starting to pick up down the east slopes of the Sacramento Mountains. And as the air sinks, it rapidly accelerates and it warms the atmosphere compared to the surrounding surface areas. We got some clouds here in Rudoso, but dry weather, 14% humidity, 54 degrees right now with again, very gusty winds already but expect even stronger winds and potentially damaging winds, blowing dust and even the very high fire threat later today. Look at these temperatures, very mild to start off this morning. 53 in Las Vegas, it feels more like almost early summer in terms of the morning temperatures this morning. 36 in Durango, one of the colder spots. Meanwhile, look at that, 70 degrees right now in Alamogordo. So it really goes to show that those winds whipping the atmosphere, providing a warmer start. 48 in Santa Rosa, 50 even in Santa Fe. Much warmer compared to what we have been seeing in the past several mornings. Very fast moving clouds, sprinkles and flurries in the northern high peaks. And more rain and snow starting to approach Arizona. That's our next storm system that will start to move closer into New Mexico. We got some passing clouds here in Albuquerque, but no rain or any snow. 52, again, a very mild start. A southeasterly wind sustained at 14 miles per hour. Already a little bit breezy out there. Look at the humidity, though. 19% humidity will drop below 10% for many areas throughout the later parts of the morning and afternoon. And the kind of contrast between the cooler air out to the northwest separated from the blues and the yellows and oranges are the stronger winds today. 80s in southeast New Mexico, high 30s and 40s to the northwest, 50s, 60s and 70s in between Santa Fe, Albuquerque, 50s, Socorro, 60s and Alamogordo. Again, already in the 70s right now, will warm up only a little bit more before those winds switch more, not only from the southwest to then from the northwest throughout the day. So mostly sunny, but dusty here in Albuquerque at 62, not as warm, dry and windy. We'll have to watch out for that fire threat. Red flag warnings in effect for many in New Mexico from later this morning throughout the evening. The potential for fires much higher compared to even yesterday. So the fire threat index critical to extreme in eastern and southern New Mexico, and especially as we head to our friends in West Texas and the Permian Basin. So yeah, if those winds really start to spark up fires, they may rapidly spread. We'll have to watch out for the fire as well, just the south of Wagon Mound. At last check, more than 60% contained. High wind warnings for much of New Mexico. Wind advisories in the Four Corners in extreme southwest New Mexico. In east New Mexico, Klein's Corners, Vaughn, Tucumcari. The high elevations, winds will gust likely more than 65 miles per hour, including Las Vegas, Rudoso, Santa Fe towards Socorro, 45 to 65 mile prior wind gusts as a likelihood. So blowing dust as a likelihood. We got blowing dust advisories from Tucumcari to the southeast all the way through southwest New Mexico, including the eastern mountains later today. The blowing dust potential much higher. And within the blowing dust potential areas, dust storms as a likelihood. Rain snow, meanwhile, to the north and west. Not amounted to too much, but we could be seeing some substantial snow totals in the high peaks of the San Juan Mountains in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. A couple waves of rain and snow will be accompanied by stronger winds. Even some rain showers near the metro later this evening, but I think those rain showers will not reach the ground with leftover precipitation moving off to the northeast by tomorrow morning and into to later tomorrow afternoon. Winter weather alerts, winter weather advisories from the San Juan Mountains, about four to nine inches of snow. Durango, a little bit wet, a little bit wintry, but then after a chilly next couple of days, and Friday, Wolf Creek, Pagosa Springs, much needed precipitation, but the costs, uh, very strong winds, blowing snow in the higher elevations, Farmington and Grants, not warming up too much more from what we're seeing right now as that Pacific front moves through with the storm system and the winds pick up from the TRC to Las Cruces, 60s and 70s, including Alamogordo, not warming up too much more from right now, Rudoso included. Clovis, Carlsbad, Hobbs, we will warm up 
at least a bit in the 70s and 80s, but brownout conditions as a likelihood limited visibility with the dust, poor air quality. Tucum carry tomorrow. Sprinkles and flurries tonight to tomorrow morning, but the major concern the strong winds even in the northern mountains. Santa Fe highs in the 50s today, 40s for tomorrow. Now from Klein's Corners, Estancia to the S Sandia Crest area. Winds are set to pick up late this morning throughout the afternoon with blowing dust likely from the north to south valley of Albuquerque. Cooler, dustier, chilly, less windy tomorrow. The first day of spring on Thursday, we spring back up in the 60s and then 70s by the weekend. Let's just get through today. Yeah, right. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan.